it's always interesting. Kathy Stewart loves adventure. The fact that no two days are, are the same, the, that you never know at the beginning of your day how it's going to end up, where you're going to be. Even after 40 years, the RCMP Special Constable is still passionate about her job. I've had a dime for every time I phone home and say, you're not going to believe where I am tonight. <laughs> I would be rich. It's great. We've got a beautiful day for doing this. Kathy is one of three RCMP pilots in Alberta, providing aerial support for officers on the ground. We do a lot of river searches looking for people in distress. From high-speed chases to taking down suspects. Saturday I was in Jasper searching for that uh, Chinese exchange student that's missing out there. Kathy has worked all across Canada and the U.S. I got to go to Alert. I got to go to Eureka, the garden spot of the Arctic. Even providing support during the forest fires of Fort McMurray. I've been able to work in Florida when Hurricane Andrew came through. You know, just really interesting spots. And, and again, that calls to the adventure. And I think that's a big part of helicopters is you do some extraordinary things. Kathy knew early on she was cut out for this work. From the time I had a driver's license, I used to go there at midnight and, you know, watch the planes taking off and landing. When I saw my first helicopter, then there was the beginning of the love affair. But in 1980, the barriers for a woman to become a pilot were huge. Yeah, the dean of the school I wanted to go to, you know, looked me in the eye and said, I'm not wasting money training you because you'll never get a job. <laughs> Kathy persisted, got her license, and started working in remote locations. I remember my first trip to the Arctic, you know, I had an astro compass bolted to the dash. There was no GPS, there was, <laughs> and that now I think, what were, you, what were you doing? Over 20 years, she honed her skills in the private sector, living in camps, and doing everything from military radio installations to seismic work. I had a boss one time, and he said to me, Stuart, I wish I could clone you. I wish I had a dozen of you. <laughs> Flying always came first, until she found someone who understood the demands of her career. My husband is a maintenance engineer in helicopters, so I break them, he fixes them. And when their first child was just a few months old, Kathy started flying with the RCMP. Sometimes their friends will say, oh, your parents are so cool. And it, and they just look at them like they're, they're, they're nuts. The beauty of the helicopter is that we can come down, get into the field and help out our frontline members. Knowing her work makes a difference drives Kathy to inspire others to consider this career. When I started, there just was nobody with any encouragement. You know, I wanted it so much and I worked so hard to achieve it that maybe that's why I savor it so much. I just love that when, you know, you've got a mission and you just go and do and then the next mission comes up and for me that's, that's just the dream. Leslie McDonald, Global News, Woman of Vision.